Hey, can you hear us? Today we're going to talk about ears. When you hear things, your ear is working very hard to make everything sound as clear as possible. But do you know how it does that? Let's have a look. The ear is split into three sections, the outer, middle and inner, and each part does a special job. Let's start with the outer ear. Go and find a cup and place it over your ear. We bet everything was much quieter and all muffled. That's because we're stopping the outer ear doing its thing. The outer ear has three main parts. The auricle, the spongy bits we all know, the auditory canal and the eardrum. The auricle draws sound in and the auditory canal gets the sound in order. The auditory canal also produces earwax to keep our ears clean and stop nasties getting in. Sound flows through and hits what we call the eardrum. Once we get past the eardrum, we're in the middle ear. This is where we find some tiny, tiny, tiny bones called the hammer, anvil and stirrup. They're so small that all three could easily fit on a five pence piece. Go and get some paper and see if you can draw them as small as possible. These tiny bones are hit by the eardrum, then hit each other one by one. This makes the sound louder, like turning the volume up on the TV. Let's go deeper and move into the inner ear. Two amazing things happen here. Firstly, can you see that thing that looks like a snail? Well, it's not a snail, thankfully. It's called the cochlea. Sound travels into the cochlea and through 24,000 tiny hairs that get the noises you hear sounding just perfect. The second thing that happens in the inner ear might surprise you. It's where we get our balance from. Can you touch your toe? Can you stand on one leg? Can you jump and land okay? Good work! You can do that because of something called the vestibular. It's filled with a special liquid. As you move, it tells your brain how to stand up straight and not fall over. Phew! Nearly there now. The inner ear sends the sounds straight to the brain. Your brain remembers what the sounds mean. Close your eyes and listen very carefully. Write down what you can hear. That's your brain and ears working as they should, taking a sound and then telling you what it actually is. And of course, some people wear hearing aids. This is because we occasionally need a little help to make the sounds a bit louder and help our ears out. We just pop them on and they raise the volume so it's just right. So that's your ears. We're big fans. They are extremely clever, but also quite delicate. Remember to keep that volume down and don't ever put anything smaller than your elbow in them. Do you have any questions? Probably, that's pretty confusing stuff. Ask someone to write your question below in the comments and we'll make sure that we come back to you with the answer. And remember, if you don't grow up to be a vet, movie star or explorer, maybe you can be an ear expert just like us.